Okay, welcome back to my channel guys. Can you just relax? As you can see, we are in my study and I don't often film in here because this is my serious room. I've also got my serious glasses on because we are going to be talking about a serious topic. So if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that I dropped my vlogging camera. So this is my everyday vlogging camera and it's actually my first ever camera that I've been using on YouTube. So this is like five years old and honestly, I wasn't really that sad when I dropped it because it has lasted me forever. So this is the Sony A5000, such an amazing vlogging camera. I highly recommend it to anyone who is like an aspiring vlogger. So good at everything and honestly, I dropped it so many times. I swear it's like a cat. It should have died four years ago, but she did me proud, she did me well, but foolishly, I always test the boundaries. My risk-taking behavior is probably not ideal when it comes to technology, and so this had a tripod on it, and I wrapped it around a squat rack, and I should have realized that it's going to fall, but anyway, I just thought, YOLO, I'll try to get myself squatting as you do in the gym, and it smashed. That is the screen. It's probably time for a new vlogging camera. So I Instagram storied it and everyone was like, can you please do a review? Can you tell us what camera you buy? If you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I'm Sarah, and this is a health and fitness and wellness channel. Not technology at all, but obviously YouTube is my full-time job, so I do take cameras and editing pretty seriously. So right now I'm filming on my Canon 6D Mark II, and that is my favorite camera right now. Pretty much the camera I use for my sit down chats or my b-roll or my food photography but as far as vlogging I would hate to vlog with this camera and just holding it my arm was shaking because it was so heavy so I always like to have a little either like a point and shoot camera or just a really light camera to chuck in my bag and just to use for my everyday life for like two days I did loads of research and I just binge watched YouTube it's about cameras and vlogging equipment. I prefer to watch reviews than read them. Like I don't want to go on Google and read about a camera. That's so boring to me. So I thought I would create my own because if you guys create similar content to me, I thought this video might be useful to you. And by the way, this is a totally unsponsored video. I bought everything with my own money, researched by myself, my honest opinion. I loved my Sony A5000, but if I was going to get a new vlogging camera, I wanted to upgrade anyway. I would never deter you from getting this camera because it was amazing. I loved it. I really don't have anything negative to say. The only thing I would say about Sony cameras is that the colors are a little bit more flat than Canon. But if you're really good at color grading in post-production, then totally get a Sony. So when I was camera shopping, the cameras that I was choosing between was pretty much the Sony RX100 5 and the Canon G7X Mark II. So those were the ones I was tossing up between. Testing both of them and like walking around the store. And I was really conflicted and I wasn't sure what one to get. So I wanted the Sony RX100 because pretty much of the specs and the features. On paper, it's a much better camera and I would be able to do slow-mo, it's better frame rate. I've just read really good things about it. If you want to know more about that camera, there's loads of information on that, but I didn't end up getting that one, so anyway. In terms of the Canon G7X Mark II, I loved the imagery, like I loved the visuals. I just love the quality of image that Canon produces. It's really vibrant and contrasted and I liked the stabilization. However, the autofocus wasn't as good on the Canon than on the Sony. Like I literally wrote out a pros and cons list when I was shopping and it actually helped me a lot. So I would highly recommend to write a pros and cons list and just decide what kind of vlogger you are or what kind of photographer you are and what is important to you in a camera because you know whatever it's great that the Sony RX100 can film five minutes of 4k but are you really going to use 4k footage I don't know the sales guy threw me through a loop and he was like what about the Canon M6 and I was like Long story short, let's get to the video. I ended up going for the Canon M6 and it was kind of like a nice balance in between the Sony RX100 and the G7X. Open it up, charge it up, and then I'm gonna go and take it on a vlog test. The type of test that I would find really interesting. So I'm gonna show it out and about in the sunlight. We'll see how quick the autofocus works. Good thing about this camera over the G7X is that it does have an external mic input. So if you're like in a really windy situation or if you want to use it for like a sit down chat video, you can put like a road mic or something onto it. The G7X and the Sony RX100 are both like point and shoot kind of cameras and they don't have interchangeable lenses. M6, you can change the lenses. So for instance, I could put this lens on this. I don't know if I would need like a converter, but regardless, that's always nice to have cameras and like different lenses and use them together. <gasps> Ooh, I like that the screen's really big. Like, So that's my broken Sony and this is the new one. So this obviously doesn't have the lens on it yet. 
but that's what it looks like. The reason I like this one over lots of the other Canons is because it does have the flip up screen. I know the M5 flips down and for me that wouldn't work because I use a little gorilla pod or I'll put it on like this kind of tripod, like a standstill tripod. So it's really important that I have it flip up so I can see myself. <sighs> I'm gonna admit I went a little rogue in the camera store and I was like, well, if I'm gonna buy another vlog camera, I might as well buy everything else. So I ended up also getting a, another battery because if you haven't vlogged yet and you're like wanting to start a channel, I would highly recommend getting like two or three batteries because being a vlogger, you just sort of have the camera rolling all the time and you just wanna like put the best parts of your day in your vlog. And that turns through a lot of batteries. So wherever I am, if you watch my Instagram stories, you would have seen I always have that black backpack on and it's pretty much all full of memory cards and batteries. Speaking of memory cards, I got another 64 gig. I also got a new, is it called a Gorilla Pod? I don't know, the Joby, Joby, whatever. My last one was 3K, I think, and this one's 5K. So my last one was not as heavy duty and I would put my Canon 6D on it and it would just break. So hopefully this one is sturdy enough and doesn't break because this is like my fifth one. I just, I, I don't know what happens. I just go through these like crazy. I'm gonna charge this and then the next scene will be hopefully on this bad boy and we'll take it on a little vlog review test and I'll be totally honest. Alright guys, officially welcome to the new vlogging camera for now, the Canon EOS M6. This vlog, for this review, I just got it on like the film tab and all of the auto settings. Let's just like walk around my house and see how the stabilization is, see how it goes from light to dark. Actually, I'll be quiet and we'll see if it like focuses on my face and if you can hear it auto focusing. So far away. I mean, like there is a plane, so that's like not helping. But I feel like it's focusing on my face really nice and quickly. So I don't usually vlog like this, like I'll show you in front of the mirror. So this is me obviously just holding my camera like this. I usually have my Gorilla Pod, but I just want to be sort of as bouncy as possible so we can see how the stabilization is. Because that's one thing I found the Sony wasn't as good at, stabilizing walking and talking. I fully should have like cleaned my room for this little segment, but you know, who cares? So I feel like stabilization wise, it's really good. Like I'm not trying to walk overly smooth and I feel like it's really nice and fluent like if I was walking and talking in the street this wouldn't be that annoying to watch all right let's look at lighting so this is like really harsh light let's see if it can auto correct wow that's pretty nice like this is blaring sunlight then I'll quickly go straight to dark still waiting okay it's not too bad okay this is like as dark as I can get oh my gosh that's so good this is like, this is better than my last vlogging camera in terms of low light. I'm really interested to see what the audio is like because I'm just using the normal inbuilt mics. So I use this Rode mic and I don't really want to be walking around the streets with this attached to my camera because I feel like it makes people nervous. Like, especially if I'm going to go out and like, whoa, I'm just going to drop my camera. Because I feel like it's fine if I go up to coffee and I'm like hiding it low like this and I order my coffee. But as soon as it has like a big mic on the top, I feel like that's a little bit... In your face. All right, again, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna leave it off my usual tripod. Whoa, that overexposure. Oh, that took a while, actually. It's nice colors, though. Like, it's really nice and vibrant. Actually, I'll go over to the beach because usually that's quite windy, like the coast wind, and we'll see how the audio goes in the wind. Um, okay, so if the wind is really loud, I'm not going to judge it because, like I said, this is a really windy day. So I'm just gonna see if we can get, like, every angle of the wind. But I'm also really curious to see how the stabilization goes in it. Obviously I haven't put this on my computer yet to like critique it properly, but from what I can see on the screen it looks pretty good to me, like I would be happy to edit this. I'm just really interested to see what the audio is like because I really do like the audio on the Sony cameras and I really don't want to have to use an external mic because like I said I just like it to be nice and light. I know it's going to be heavier when I have my tripod but in terms of just the camera itself it's really really nice and light. Okay this is really intense sunlight so hopefully the exposure is okay, I can't really see. Let's try backlight pretty good so obviously like I said there are loads of different features and specs on this camera like slow-mo and all that cool stuff however for this video I'm literally just focusing on vlogging like if you just want to pick up your camera and go and like take it on the go with you Whew, that was like really hot and humid outside I'm sweating I love that I'm filming like a vlogging video and I'm like the worst vlogger ever because I always forget to do 
and outro. I just want to do a little summary of my opinion on the EOS M6. I personally really, really like it. I want to learn a lot more about it because like I said at the start of the video, I'm only filming on the movie scene or like the movie section, if that makes sense. I don't know, just like play around with the features more and see if I can get the vibrance up. So I've had this camera for like a week now and I've been using it almost every single day and I love it. The only thing that's been annoying me a little bit, there's this star button on the side of the camera that I always accidentally knock and that what's the star button do Kurt it like it holds the exposure it holds the exposure so if you're in a section of your video where it's really overexposed there's heaps of sunlight and then you go to somewhere dark it doesn't recalibrate if that makes sense and I always keep knocking it the record button is so small and I always click the wrong one and then my third thing that's a little bit annoying the guy at the camera shop said it's because they want to sell this camera like a travel camera so it has to be small and compact and you put it in your bag so they want to be able to make the lens really small so when you turn the camera on you can't just start recording it actually has this little lock on the lens so you turn the camera on you have to unlock the lens and zoom out the lens and then get it ready and then you can start recording. So that's fine if you're like setting up to vlog or you're setting up a shot, but if something really funny is happening or something crazy is happening, you can't necessarily turn on your camera and start vlogging straight away. You sort of have to prep it. At the end of the day, every single camera you get is going to have some kind of downfall or you are going to have to sacrifice something. I wouldn't mind testing out some other vlog cameras, so I would love to hear you guys' opinion on this video. Do you like the quality do you like the sound obviously I was just watching the windy scene when I was over at the beach and I just want to make a disclaimer that that was a super super windy day and I don't want you thinking that this camera's mic and like the audio ability isn't good because any camera I took over there that day would have had that kind of windy feedback what are they called I always call them cat hairs they're not called cat hairs what are those things called that you like the fluffy things you can put on the top of your camera I always call them cat hairs but they're not called cat hairs oh yeah um yeah I call them cat hairs too do you call them cat hairs yeah no I call the I called them cat hairs the other day and you were like they're not cat hairs yeah they're yeah. cat something whatever yeah, whatever who the cares? Fluff, who cares? Who cares? Who even cares? No one even cares. Do you even vlog? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry if you've come to my channel today for like my usual health and fitness vlog. Let me assure you the next one is because I'm actually halfway through editing that one as well and it's just like a normal day in the life healthy fitness, gym routine, blah, blah, blah. But I just thought I would mix it up and I know there's a lot of aspiring vloggers out there and I'm all about supporting everyone and giving you any tips that I have to make it easier on you and girl power and boy power. But you know, if you wanna start a channel, you go Glen Coco. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every three days and make sure to tick that little notification bell up the top because then you get notified every single time I upload new videos. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, that's my Instagram and I pretty much post Instagram stories every single day. That is like my jam. As much as I identify myself as a YouTuber, I should identify myself as an Instagram story because I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Anyway, guys, I will see you in my next video, probably on this camera. Talk to you then. Bye.